What's up, YouTube? Same ish, different day. This is your man, Skills on the Sticks. And uh, today I want to talk to you guys about Titanfall. Originally, I was going to do a Titanfall gameplay, but uh, for whatever reason, right now, when I record the Titanfall, I'm not able to get audio from the game into it. And so I don't want to just put up gameplay where I'm just talking and you can't really hear the audio. As you guys know, I like for you guys to be able to, be able to at least hear the gunshots. Um, so what this is going to be is basically like a daily chem strike along with some of my, um, you know, some of my review of Titanfall and, you know, if I think it's going to be a COD killer and things along those lines. So, first of all, uh, I'm not really going to go into any tips with this. I do apologize for any camping. Um, it, it is a good gameplay anyways. It's a short gameplay. So, the pros about Titanfall, here's a, a couple of pros. The pros... Um, it's a it's a very active shooter. You mean you're shooting at all times for the most part. Um, it's very action packed. It has some new stuff that and it, the fact that it's just a different game is big. Uh, a lot of games don't get hyped because everyone would like something new. Like yes, Call of Duty as a franchise is stale to a lot of people. So everyone is always just looking for something fun and something new. Um, when I first got into the game, I was like, oh man, this is awesome. You know. Um, this game, Titanfall, really appeals to people that might have a hard time getting kills in Call of Duty. Now, why I say that is because it's six versus six um, uh, with, with uh, human-controlled players, but there's an unlimited amount of AI bots who just suck nuts, uh, for lack of a better term and and uh, voice of frustration. They're so bad that you know it's it's really it's at first it was fun you know to just blast a whole bunch of of unsuspecting drones but uh after a while it was it really got just boring to be honest with you um and i've only had it since last night i played the crap out of it don't get me wrong the game is fun itself but uh i really think that the ai needs to be at least a little bit more alert it's not fun to just spray down and kill like enemies that are on recruit like i said at first it was fun but at, afterwards it just gets boring um you don't really get challenged with gunfights unless you're playing another human player and uh, so that's one of my my main concerns, but it could also be a pro for some people. Uh, my con about it, of course, is the fact that it's only on Xbox One, and uh, I don't really see it's not going to be a COD killer as long as it's only on one platform. If you guys know, you know, in order to be a COD killer, you really have to take the whole the whole uh, you know the whole gaming community by storm, and you're not going to do that by just p being on Xbox and PC. You're going to need to also be on on Sony. So. That being said, you know, the game, it, of course, it's fun. It's uh, it's going to be like a big hype thing because it's like I said, it's something new uh, and, and everything is fun while it's new. But after playing it for a while, I was like, man, I just miss Call of Duty. I just miss, you know, seeing the only other people that you see are human players. And, and just I just miss the competition, really, because there's no way that Titanfall can go competitive. Um, unless they were to majorly change the way that their uh, their um, their games are set up because, like I said, there's a whole bunch of just there's a whole bunch of computer-controlled players that don't even really shoot you back. If they do shoot at you, the damage is very low, guys. So it's just it's not very fun at all to to play against them. Uh, so that was one of my main concerns. It's something that just kind of wore on me as I started to play more and more. But like I said, the game is it's a good game. So don't get me wrong about that. Um, you know, the weapons have pretty much no recoil. And um, the la the lag isn't. I mean, there's some lag. It even says like you have to be connected to certain servers. I guess the servers aren't that good quite yet. Um, so there was a little bit of kicking, people getting kicked out of uh, lobbies and stuff like that. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, the game itself, I would I would recommend you buy just to try it out if you have Xbox. It's not something that's gonna rip me away from Call of Duty. That's another thing I wanted to tell you guys. Uh, I will be here on Call of Duty no matter what. I'll still be providing Call of Duty content. Uh, that's just like a little escape from time to time to just get my mind off Call of Duty and play something different But I definitely prefer Call of Duty and this will always be a Call of Duty first uh, YouTube channel So it's very important to me that you guys understand that that I'm not gonna go be just making an exclusive Titanfall for weeks on end um, I might post like one video a week if that um, because I know some of you guys do want Titanfall gameplay and uh, I'm gonna try to fix the whole audio thing because I'm not really sure why it was that uh, I wasn't able to get audio from the videos that I was recording. So 
hopefully I can fix that. But yeah, guys, don't worry about like you know me switching and ignoring Call of Duty because I'm gonna have tips for you guys. I'm gonna always do that for you guys, especially in, in the future Call of Duty titles. So don't ever get uh, you know discouraged with with um, that perspective. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I know I kind of camped in here a little bit uh, or a lot of bit. So, you know, I don't mind if you guys call me campers or whatever. But the reason I did that is because we had them spawn trapped back here in B-Dom. And they were just spawning on those back stairs and inside of the castle. And they kept running towards me. And when I did try to finally move out from the back door over there, uh, there were some people that were coming at me. So I just found it best, especially since I went on a streak. I mean, even though I get cam strikes very often, I still get nervous from time to time. And it's still fun to make sure that you get the cam strike when you get that close. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please like, comment, and subscribe. I am doing that free system giveaway, so you guys make sure that you stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe. That's the only way to enter. Be subscribed and following me, and that's the way you guys will be entered into this free system giveaway. Uh, I'm gonna, I might give away Astros. I'm gonna, I have them here at my house. I'm not sure if I want to do those for like the 12K giveaway. Um, and then I do have an extra copy of Titanfall. Um, so th those are all things that I'm looking forward to doing in the future again um, this is something where I want to maybe give those out when I hit a certain milestone so I might be holding on to those for a little while um, and in the coming weeks I might be a little bit inactive this weekend as I'm going to be moving into my apartment so I do apologize for that in advance I'm going to try to get some videos and just have them on a scheduled timer so they can release on the weekend instead of you know just trying to put everything in on one day um, I'm also working on a trolling video hope you guys will like that but thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, I appreciate your views. I hope I've given you some type of insight on Titanfall. And uh, hopefully you guys just enjoyed watching me spray these noobs. Uh, like, I get, like I said, <laughs> sorry for sitting around uh, a little bit towards the end. But thanks for watching, guys, and I appreciate your views. I'm Skills on the Sticks, and I'm off. Enemy SATCOM spotted. Nice work, ghosts.